Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Tulane. I thought they played incredibly well today, shot the ball incredibly well. Um, Lisa Stockton, as we all know, is a very, very talented basketball coach, and I thought she had a really good game plan um, against us. I thought we were playing really well. A little bit of foul trouble and a few turnovers, I think, was really the difference, the 10-point difference in the, in the first half. And then really after that, we needed them to miss some shots. We needed the, the ball to come off the rim and end up in our hands. And they just shot the ball too well. Um, but they did a nice job of trapping and scrambling us a little bit. We had a difficult time running offense. But I'm proud of our players. Um, I didn't think there was not a minute of that game where we didn't give it our best effort. I think the numbers and the rotation, I mean, at times we had three post players on the floor trying to, trying to break pressure. So I'm proud of our kids. I'm proud of what they've accomplished this year. It certainly was not the year we anticipated when we started the season. But um, as I've said many times this week, God had other plans for us. So we, we went with what we had, and I'm proud of the body work that our kids put together, particularly late. Questions? Hey, coach, this is um, for you and your players. You can all feel free to elaborate on this. Um, obviously, you face a lot of adversity this year with injuries and whatnot, um, having uh, low numbers. How has your team responded to that? And you kind of already answered this opening statement, but are, are you proud of the way that your team has responded? I'll let them go first, and I'll back clean up. How's that? Um, with that, I mean, playing with five or six people, it kind of just became something that we knew we had to do. I guess it was our new normal. And so, I don't know, I, I think we feel, I, well, I feel like we started looking at it at as, as it like, you know, we just, this is just what we have to do. And so, I mean, I'll never forget my senior year, just knowing that we played with five or six people for most of it and fought hard for every single game we did that. To piggyback off of Shai, I would say, um, you know, we fought hard. You know, we would walk into the gym knowing we had to play with five and we'd be in the locker room laughing and talking because we could just know it was just a regular day for us. And um, I think we, we built some tremendous chemistry, you know, playing with five or six people, and I'll, I'll never forget it, you know, because it was a team full of dogs, and, and we wanted it today. I think early in the season, um, we had very high goals for this season, and we thought we had the talent to back up those goals and achieve those goals. I think early on with the injuries, I think it really got to us. I think we, I think we were disappointed, and I think we were, I don't want to use the word distraught, but, um, I think sometimes we didn't know how we were going to manage our way out of it. And, but as we went through the season, even through – once we got into the conference season and got a couple players back, I thought we got rejuvenated. And then even through the long slide that we had, the middle part of our conference season, if you look at the games, if you look at the scores, we were in the game until late at East Carolina. We were in some of the games until the very last three or four minutes of the game. But we just simply couldn't pull it out. So I think that's where we really just had a mindset that we were going to um, we were going to fight through it, and we were going to give it our best effort regardless. Also, as we went through the part of the season, it didn't show itself today. Um, but I think our two freshmen got a lot better, and I think that helped us the latter stages because they had a season of development. Coach, maybe talk a little bit about the performance of Colby Morgan and how hard it was to guard her tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had a goal for her only to get 12 shots, and she only got 12. The problem is she hit 10, yeah. uh, four or four from the three-point line. Um, they, we felt like we had to switch defenses. Um, so we were going back and forth with different defenses. Um, she got loose a few times and got wide open looks at threes. And then Colby Morgan's a player. She's a competitor. She wants the ball in her hands. I think when they moved her to the point guard, I think she became even more aggressive. She's a wonderful passer. And I think that gave her an opportunity to handle the ball even more and really get her teammates involved. But. Um, but scoring 27 tonight on 12 shots, that is phenomenal um, in terms of her efficiency. Okay. All right. Cheyenne and Bria, obviously this season wasn't exactly what you planned with injuries and things like that. But just talk about some of the takeaways for you. Just, uh, yeah, just kind of talk about that. Like, what helped you grow this season? Um, 
I would say for me, just knowing that I had to step up and play, play harder, uh, lead the team. You know, today I kept telling the team after like a turnover or a mistake, you know, stay together, stick together. And that's just one thing I'll take away from it is, you know, when you face adversity, you have to pick yourself up and pick your team up. And, you know, just try to bring them along with you, you know. So that's one thing I'll take away from it. I would say for me, it definitely, I saw my leadership grow over the course of the season. You know, I was more like the quiet player, like lead by example. Um, but as we had fewer players and a lot of them were young or new, I had to, you know, be more vocal. And so I definitely feel like I was able to take that away. And then like Elmo said, just stepping up and knowing what I had to do every game. Any other questions? And, um, I asked Tulane the same thing, but uh, Memphis Tulane is a significant history again. Um, just kind of how do you view this game? Do you look forward to it every year? I mean, it's, I mean, it's very, very rich history here. I think uh, I'll say this openly. I was so disappointed we only played Tulane once this year. Uh, to me, that is one of those natural rivalry games, both in proximity and just our history of you know being in the same conference forever. I think that's one of those, like in football, that you never don't schedule Michigan and Ohio State. I don't think Memphis and Tulane should ever not play two games. So I'm just gonna say that out loud because um, I just think that's the way it should be. It's been a great rivalry. Um, I remember way back when I was at Minnesota in the NCAA tournament playing against Lisa Stockton team and just being so impressed with the, the type of coach that she was and and how she leads her team. And it's, you know, last year we got, we had their number a little bit. I think we got them twice last year. We got them earlier this year. There's something that we talked about that um, they were gonna be very emotional this game because that was the game we had five players, didn't have a sub, and they were not gonna forget that. And so I think it's a very healthy rivalry and it's, some rivalries are bitter rivalries and have ugly feelings to them. This one doesn't. This is just a great rivalry of great respect amongst um, two different programs. And so um, I like it. We need to play them twice every year. I know you're not in charge of that, but <laughs> just in case you have any pull. <laughs> Neither am I, clearly. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Thank you all.